Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to add a legacy contact to your Apple ID account. And also, if you don't know what a legacy contact is, we're gonna explain to you the feature that's available for you to use on your iPhone. So starting with iOS 15.2 or later, Apple has introduced a feature where you can add a legacy contact, which is if you, in an event that you die, you can assign certain contact or more than one contact to be able to have access to your data, like photos, videos, messages, uh, things of that kind that you can pretty much give them the ability to see with this special key that you give to them when you add them as a legacy contact. They won't have access to some things such as movies, music, books, or subscriptions that you have subscribed to. So there are some things that they have access to and other things you don't. So in order to do that, what you'll need to do is go into your settings. And once you go into your settings, you want to make sure you're signed into your Apple ID account up here. And once you do that, couple things you'll need here. First thing you'll do is go to password and security. So I'm gonna click on that for this option here where it says password and security. I'm gonna do that just to cover our personal information here really quick. So once I do that, I want to make sure where it says two-factor, it's on. If it's not on, you can click on to activate two-factor. And once you have done that, you also want to make sure that you're in the age of 13 or older in order to add a legacy contact. To do that, you'll see there's an option for legacy contact. And then all you'll do is simply click on that. And once you click on that, now you can add a legacy contact. So all I do is click on a legacy contact and it pretty much tells you things about legacy contact. Basically, you share an access key so that if you were to die, they'll need to provide this access key and your debt certificate in order for them to access that data that Apple allows them to see. And you and then all you click is add a legacy contact. And once you do that, you'll enter your password here just like that. And then you'll get a list of contact that you have and you select the one that you want to add. So I'll add here a contact that I have you get this access to your digital legacy option. You'll hit continue here. Pretty much tells you the same thing about your data. Things like photos, messages, notes, files, contact, event calendar, apps you have downloaded, and much more will be available part of this data. But some things other won't be available like your keychain and licensed media. So we'll hit continue here and once we do that, what will happen is it will allow you to print an access code if they don't have a iPhone. And as you can see here, it also added person. It will give you an email notification. And then along with that, we can send a message. So we can click this option if you want. And then you can either edit this message or you can hit that send option and it will send them a notification to let them know that you added them as a legacy contact. So we'll hit that send option and it will send them a message. And all you hit is done here. Now as you can see here, this legacy person that you added as a contact will be available there. Now in order to remove it, all you do is simply click on that and then once you click on click on it, it'll show up like that. And to remove them, you can also just click on this option to remove contact. And then you'll hit that remove option. And it removed them just like that. As you can see, you get a notification as well. So that's how simple it is to add a legacy. Hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.